Welcome guys to episode number 24 of my Pokemon Alola Ultra Creator P Nuzlocke series. It's time to finally finish up the 8th list of the game of this challenge, as well as the final list of the main story mode. So in the last episode, we defeated every single one of the Elite Four members and had a rather easy time with the first three until Kahili, where she nearly destroyed almost five members on my team, which was really crazy, but we were able to get past her with no problem despite all those complications that we had. But anyway, now that we made it this far into the game, there's only one battle left. And this is the last battle to take care of to finally finish the game and finally wrap up the story mode before we get to the post game a little bit later. Now, granted, I have no exact clue how the final battles are going to turn out, basically, especially this far into the game. But, yeah. Granted, with how much craziness has been going on within this whole series, this, was pro this is probably one of the craziest things that has ever happened so far in the series up to this point. But, that's kind of besides the main legit point of the series, okay? But anyways, now that we made it this far into the game, there is one last battle for me to take care of. And this last fight is taking place at the very top of the summit, which means that there is one battle left standing for me to finally finish. And I think you guys know what this last battle is going to be. So before I do anything, let me save the game before we get into this last battle. So, to begin, I'm going to actually start by actually changing my team a little bit and put Penny at the front because of what the first Pokemon of this last contender that we're going to battle against has. And I think also to make this a little bit more efficient as well, leave it a Pocky Palm at the back of the party just so this can be a bit more efficient in that regard. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get in to the final battle of the game. It's time for the last boss of, of course, the legendary Mount Alakila and Pokemon League boss list. Who oh boy, I am nervous as hell with what this last fight is going to bring to us. But I'm really, really hoping that this fight turns out to be as good as it could have been. But honestly, I'm very nervous of what this last fight is going to bring to the table. But... We'll see how well we do for this last battle. Yep. It's him again. Remember those last couple of times that we battled him? Well, he has came back. And this time, he's the last boss that we deal with for this list. Let's go! Time for the final boss battle against the rival that started it all. It's, of course, Al himself. Let's do this. First up is Alolan Raichu. Alright, I'm setting in Penny for this first fight. Alright, welcome to the final boss battle against the champion Hawaiian competitor, Al. that's not found in the Bulbapedia website. This was taken from a different fan site that I found, and I'll leave the description of where I found it down in the, um, on the comment section. But anyways, enough about that. It's time for the true final battle. I want to begin this fight by immediately using Earthquake right away. Because I know a little right to his way to Earthquake. Start the rip with that. Well, thankfully, that came out a little right you, so. Grounded you, Brick! Alright, took care of that first one pretty easily. Alright, who's next? Ah, Crabominable. Okay, now I do remember that Crabominable has several weaknesses, but the issue is that he has Ice Hammer, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a powerful move. So. Who do I want to send in here? Hmm. Let me actually send in Soapy here. That might be the best way to go about it. Really? 
Fine, 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 fine. Hello, Mr. Drunken Crab. Ready to meet you at the Mars? Let's go ahead and moonlight this sucker. Right, maybe we're a little faster. Boom! Yep, that one shot at him in one hit. Oh, and that was a crit, too. Fine, 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 fine. I was gonna KO that Krabobinal anyway. <laughs> I wasn't even worried. All right. Decidueye is next. Oh, I wasn't anticipating him to send his starter off right away. Uh, okay then. Huh. What did I do here? Hmm. You know what? I think I actually want to send in Wario for this one. Yeah, let's send in Wario. Let's do that. Bring it on. All right, Decidueye, you, you and I have a standoff. So let me go ahead and fire off my little and my malicious moonsault against you. What? Goes he faster? Smackdown! Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't expect him to have Smackdown. That threw me off. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because he didn't do a lot of damage, so. Come on, Wario. Pull off your most powerful move. Malicious moonsault! Go for it! Jump it in the air. Bam! That's what I'm talking about, boys. Whoop! All right. This is your white token out. Let's go, Wario. All right. Next up is Vaporeon. So I think for Vaporeon... You know what? Why not? Let's send in Mona here. All right, they're boarding on Saturn. Let's go ahead and see if we can KO this thing with a Thunderbolt. Charm. Oh, that's gonna lower my physical attack, isn't it? Yep, that didn't even matter. <laughs> All right. Bam. Okay. Okay, that did paralyze him, but that did a little less damage than I was expecting, man. All right, let's Thunderbolt again. Okay, technically we're faster. Urgh! Yep. Took him out. That was kind of a godsend that I paralyzed him because we were a little bit faster there, so... Good job, Mona. Okay, Tauros. Alright, what to do for Tauros here? You know what? Let's do it! Let's send out a Baki Pound for this one. Call me crazy. You haven't received a KO yet, so why not? Alright, Mr. Tauros. Oh, shoot. Good night. Well, that doesn't matter, because I ain't using a uh, physical attack anyways. Alright, do I want to use Trico Meteor here, or do I want to use Ice Beam? That's a tough call. Yeah, let's go for Draco Meteor, why not? How's he faster? I'm at a higher level! Oh, crap! Okay, that did a lot more damage than I anticipated. How did that miss? Come on, man! Oh, no, I'm placed in a very dangerous spot. If he gets a crit with the next one, we're screwed. Oh, shoot! Oh, we just barely lived it. We barely lived it. Okay, Ice Beam. And that KO'd him anyway. Man, that Tauros was tough, y'all. He literally almost killed my fluffy dragon. I don't know how about you survived that at 16 HP, but whatevs, you know. All right, last up is Noivern. This is the last Pokemon to deal with. I think I know how to poetically deal with this guy. Sending in Anna. Because she's the Dragon Slayer of this team, after all. Alright, Noiburn, you're the only one left standing. Let's go ahead and see if we can Ice Beam this sucker and hope for a crit this time. Super Fang! Oh, crap! Well, that's gonna do a lot of damage! Okay, Ice Beam here. Bam! Yep, that KO'd him. And that was a crit, too, so it didn't even matter. Well, the battle was a little tough, we were actually able to beat him. So yeah, that actually did not turn out to be that difficult, actually, surprisingly enough. Just by how much damage Obaki took from that double edge. Okay! That's it! That's the last battle taken care of in this list! The Mount Lakita and Pokemon League boss list is finally cleared! Whew! 
This list was a little challenging, but it wasn't as difficult as some of the other ones that I've tackled earlier in the series. Like the 5th and the 7th list specifically. Those two in particular proved to be the most challenging ones as of right now. But, yeah, shockingly, despite how terrifying that Tauros was, that was not difficult at all. Everyone got a KO, and thankfully Obaki didn't die, so we're perfectly in the clear. So that means that we finally finished the actual story mode. Mean that the 8th list is finally cleared. So that's it! We cleared the game! Alola's first champion! is now in commits with Penny the Torterra, Wario the Incineroar, Soapy the Permarina, Mona the Gardevoir, Anna the Glaceon, and finally Obaki Palm the Fluffy Drampa. So yeah, we actually cleared the whole list with only just one death. We actually cleared this whole entire series with only just one death in the story mode. I'm kind of actually flabbergasted that I only had one death throughout this whole series. To be fair, that only death was kind of a misclick for me, but yeah, that was not hard at all. We were able to actually finish up the entire game with Creative V Pokemon. So this proves that this is possible to do it with Creative V Pokemon. done yet, guys. You think that we're finished with the series despite the fact that the 8th list is cleared? Y'all, you are dead wrong. Despite the fact that we cleared the 8th list, we still have four more that we have left to accomplish now thanks to us gaining access to the post game. So when we come back for the next episode, we're going to actually tackle through the post game and take a look at the last four lists to take care of for the series before the series actually comes to a close. But something tells me that the last couple of battles that we're going to tackle through in the game will be some of the most challenging in the entire series. So that's going to have to take a lot of skill if I want to beat those last couple of battles. So it's going to take a while for me to finally finish up those last couple of battles. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed somewhat the first finale of the series since we just cleared the main story mode, but we are not done with the series yet, guys. When we come back for the next episode, we're going to be tackling through the last couple of lists in the game to finally get this series finished up, as there's only just four lists left left to tackle to finally wrap up the series. And to let you guys on a little secret, the next list that we're going to tackle through is known as the post-game boss list which will contain a total of 10 essential battles. But they're not going to be as easy as the ones that we've taken care of so far in the series, because the post-game battles will consist of some very challenging fights. Before we get over to the next three, that'll be really just as ludicrous as that one. So, don't you worry, y'all. The lists are only going to get much tougher, and only a lot harder as we progress through the story. So there's still a lot more to do with here in the game for both Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So keep that in mind. We still have a lot going on to finally finish up the series, and this is far from over. So keep in mind that when we return later, we're going to have a massive load of chunk to deal with, and a lot of battles. So that is to keep into consideration. But yeah, other than that, that finally clears the series. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this final episode of, of course, the first finale, technically, of the series. But we're far from done, like I mentioned. There is still a lot more we have left to go on, and we still have a lot more battles to take care of. And I mean a bunch. Because the post-game lists, which are a total of four, have some of the most threatening fights to deal with in the game. You think the ones that we dealt with in the main story mode were bad? Ooh, you're going to see in a little bit, they're only going to get much harder. You'll see. Because while the lists were already difficult enough in their own right, they're only just going to get harder. Trust me when I say that. There's Cena and Dexio. See that little legendary over there? Oh. He's going to be included soon within the final list. 
You'll see him being included in there very, very soon. Such a handsome boy. seen the credits of this game because I only got this far into the story and only managed to only clear the, um, only just the, you know, all the way up to the Pokemon League. I even got the chance to beat the League, so this is my first time actually clearing the League, surprisingly enough. So, yeah. <laughs> Surprise fact, huh? Being such a handsome boy. Let's cut him some slack. Look at the boy smiling. You can't blame him for how cool he is. Hey, I'll just admit this right now. Gladian's one of the coolest characters ever introduced to the game. He's basically the shadow to Ilio's Sonic. Can I just say that right now? That's what that literally reminds me of, okay? And you can't convince me otherwise, all right? And see Tapu Coco too? He'll also be included in that last list too. So don't you worry, there's gonna be a lot going on in that last list. <laughs> but I won't spoil it until we get to that last list later because, yeah. The last one as well as the uh, pen ultimate one are truly gonna be the toughest battles of the bunch. So you'll see as we get over to those lists later. Not now, of course, but later. Fireworks from Mark hurt me, strangely enough. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what that reminds me of. I love a smile, y'all. We need to see Alima coming into Masters EX. We need to. If he doesn't come into Masters EX and I don't get proven wrong that he is a male voice that is confirmed, I'm going to be upset. We need him in that game. Plus several other characters, but you get the point regardless, okay? Can you actually imagine if the Pokemon Mothers became actual playable characters in Masters EX? That would be insane to see. I don't know if that's going to happen, but, I mean, it's a possibility. I skipped through the whole credits, um, that entire credits roll to let you know. But, yeah, that pretty much covers it for the whole entire Mount Lakita and, well, Pokemon League boss list. But now that we're done with that list, we are far from done, guys. Like I mentioned earlier on in the beginning, there's only just four more for us to complete. And that means we're about to get into some of the toughest battles of the century, both in Ultra Sun and in Ultra Moon. So 
We still have a lot more going on in order to finish up this series for good and finally wrap it up for the time being. So, while this may be the end of, of course, the eighth list, we still have a lot more going on for us to finally finish the game. So, we'll need to be careful with what else is going to be thrown at us. So guys, until next time, when we come back, we're going to begin the next list of the game, being, of course, the post-game boss list. Meaning when we come back for the next episode, we're going to be tackling through the first of four secret boss lists in the series, which, unironically, is the ninth boss list. So until next time, guys, we will see you guys later for that next list. So until next time, guys, bye.